and gentlemen, welcome to NASEN. NASEN stands for Netherlands Center for Electron Nanoscopy. NASEN is hosted by the University of Leiden in the Netherlands, but users and researchers from all over the world are welcome to apply for beam time and come and use our microscope. The NASEN facility hosts not one, but two of the most advanced electron microscopes dedicated for nanoimaging in the life sciences. This is the FEI Titan Cryos. These dedicated platforms for electron microscopy for life science and biological specimens, we need to study them at cold temperature. How cold? Well, this is minus 192 degree centigrade. centigrade. This is liquid nitrogen temperature. That is the best way of preserving biological specimen while they are observed in electron microscopy. The general technique thus takes the name cryo-electron microscopy. As opposed to a light microscope, electron microscopes use light from the electron beam. Their source of light is at the top of the column that is the electron gun. Electrons are created from a thin crystal and they are accelerated with a high voltage potential. This is 300,000 volt or 300 kilovolts. The beam of light formed by the electron is then controlled by a series of electromagnetic lenses. Here on the right side you see an image that was shot with warm hemoglobin. You can see the molecules uh, all over the image. This image was collected at about 37,000 magnification. From the data that is acquired on the direct electron detector, this data, all these molecular views, can be extracted on the computer and processed in order to create from many images one three-dimensional model. This is called single particle analysis. In other cases, you may want to have a look at much larger specimen, and in that case, another technique called cryo-electron tomography can be used to image much larger structure like organelles or lipid vesicle like here on the screen and so on.